He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jay Semenix. The Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. Let's talk with UTSA head football coach Jeff Trailer, who joins us now on the Buyers Barricades guest line after they ran away from South Florida on Friday night. And it's already game week because they play again this Friday. Howdy, Coach Trailer. How's your Monday? It's good, brother. It's good. Just uh, getting ready for Tulane. And, uh, had a good practice today, so it's all good. Thanks for having me on. Well, we appreciate you coming on, Coach. And and you're probably going to get mad at me and not <clears throat> excuse me and not answer, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Um, Texas A&M, did you interview? You know, here, here's the deal: when you've been somewhere four years, uh, you become pretty good friends with a lot of the local media. And you guys, everybody's been good to me in this city. And I totally understand why y'all have to answer that question. And I, I think y'all know me well enough um, to know that I appreciate what y'all do. And I try my very best to always give y'all as much as I can give y'all. Um, but it literally gives me, there's no reason, there's nothing I can ever say to make anybody believe what the truth is. So it's just better to not answer the question. You have agents that handle all that kind of stuff. You start getting into specifics about who said what and who talked and all that kind of stuff. It, 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 you go down a rabbit hole, you never can stop. And so I always answer the same way. This is all about my kids and only my kids. And so that's like, well, he's just avoiding the question. Yes, but no, because it is about my kids. So let's just do a little backtracking. My first year here, COVID was a distraction, no doubt. We didn't lose one game in November. My next year here, Texas Tech was a huge distraction. We lost one game in November. The very next year, Colorado, Arizona State, Purdue all come open. We don't lose a game in November. This year, A&M comes open. We still haven't lost a game in November. Someone intentionally leaks a story the night before our game. I don't know. Be a conspiracy theorist. Why would that happen? I have no idea. But my players, probably distracted, went out and broke the school record for the most yards in the history of our school against a very good opponent on national TV. So my objective is to take care of my players and only my players. My wife and I love it here. We want to stay here. We've got things to do here. We are still way behind in a lot of areas, but my president and my AD and our boosters are working like heck to get caught up. And the good news is when people are out there discussing hiring you, for some reason, your own place seems to get moving a little bit faster. So this is a win-win for everyone as long as my players keep winning and they get the best Jeff trailer. That's why I was in at work this morning at 3.30. And I know that's a long, long answer to a very, very short question, but there's the answer. Coach, I appreciate the explanation. And I mean that sincerely. And, and, and look, we only, we respect and like you enough that we get excited when opportunities arise. That's why we ask the question. So it's all with respect and, and with love for you. Well, I appreciate that. Um, but it, and I also would like to say, I know I'm a simpleton from Gilmer, Texas, but for 15 years, I answered the same question to a much smaller <laughs> media group. But for 15 years, we built something there that you could go back and look at factually. It's one of the most amazing stories of all time. And I would love nothing more for this thing right here to end that way. But we've got to have help. And we keep getting it. Someone new keeps stepping up every single year, every single time. Man, we're playing on Black Friday at 2.30 on ABC against the Tulane Green Wave, who beat USC last year in the Cotton Bowl. That's all we should be talking about. Frank Harris literally played one of the most amazing – I had the best seat in the house. No one had a better seat than me. I wanted to start cheering and eat popcorn because it was that <laughs> dang good. It was amazing. I, I, I'll tell you what, Coach, and, and I'll leave it alone. Uh, I, I will just say a hat tip for the way that you – answer the question yes. without i mean it, it, it's elite level and you're getting and you're getting great at it and you understand and i appreciate that you know everybody listening right now i think everybody loved what they saw from frank they can't wait for friday but there's that that elephant in the room and and you do a fan i mean world-class way of uh of 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 not answering and answering <laughs> at, at that level. That, well, that's, the explanation yes, was great. Well, it, was, we it was fantastic. Yeah. Now you talk about yeah. having a great seat for that game on Friday night. And, and my seat was not near as good as yours on Friday night in the Alamo dome. And I went with the Frito pie, not the popcorn <laughs> at, at the Alamo dome, which is also uh, uh, elite level. But, but I've got to ask you, 
that game took forever, Coach. I had to get up because uh, I was going hunting at 6 o'clock in the morning. Did that game feel as long to you as it did to us in the in the stands? It was exhausting. I mean, they, <laughs> they snap it so fast at lightning speed. Well, we decided to match them. We decided to go just as fast. And we couldn't go as fast as they do. We have a bunch of formations. We have a bunch of shifts. We do a lot more than they do offensively. Their whole philosophy is to get lined up in the same formation and go fast. But they threw it so many times, and we threw it so many times, and there's always so many replays nowadays. It's just – it's a marathon, and I feel for the fans. I really do, especially when you start at 8 o'clock at night. Gosh, that was tough. And we've been through senior night. Now, and I'll, I want to say this, too, about my players. Like, my players and I are – the trust level we have with each other is beyond family level. Like, I talk to my players like, like they know the real deal. Like, they know. And no one leaks. It never gets out of our locker room. So my guys understand everything about this current situation, and they understand why it all has to play out the way it plays out. They really get it. So I just can't brag enough about my own players and their trust for me and my trust in them and how they always just keep getting better in the month of November every single year. Well, and I, I think that's why you are attractive to other programs because they see the relationship that you have with your players. And when you have guys like and, – and I just want to go back to Frank Harris, Jeff, because this guy on Friday night was just a, a machine. I mean, he was incredible. And I know you, you you talked about him already, but this guy just seems to get better and better and better. Yeah. I, <laughs> he looked like his old self again. I mean, I think all of you watched him long enough to know he's kind of been a shell of himself all year in spite of how great he's been playing. But you can tell he's just not quite right. He went in that super freak power he got somehow <laughs> and came out there looking like the young boy I used to coach back in the day. And – uh I'm excited about Friday. You talk about two of the best quarterbacks in the country. Tulane's got one, two. I mean, this is going to be – and the respect I have for Willie uh, – Willie, I'm not saying I'm on any level with Willie Fritz. Do not hear me wrong. But Willie's never had a good job. You know, Willie's taken some bad jobs in his life, and he's always won. Uh, I, a lot of respect. I'm not saying Tulane's a bad job at all. But look at his history, where he's come from, from JUCO to D2 to FCS. He's just always – wins wherever he goes and uh, his kids play the right way i have so much respect for willie uh this is going to be uh one of those kind of games where it's every single inch of the game you're going to feel like it's uh, a wars i hate to use that analogy but that's just the better, the word that comes to my mind but and and, and it, I, I look at this game and that's and that's what it is and again i think a lot of people that think tulane they don't think of a quality football team but obviously that's not the case this year. I look at the way Frank was playing, not only throwing the ball for over 400 yards, but the way he was running. And as you just said, looked like his old self is, and I hate to say it this way, but is this as healthy as Frank has been all season going into the most important game of the season this Friday afternoon? I'd say, I'd say 80, 85% is where I'd put him. Um, you know, that turf toe's tough. And uh, his knees have been through a lot. His shoulders have been through a lot. But, man, his heart, his spirit, his mind, uh, his love for this city. I'll get emotional just talking about him. Uh, you know, he's just that guy. <laughs> he really is that guy. And him and I were a match made in heaven for each other. I mean, San Antonio is the absolute perfect place for a corny, sappy person like myself. And Frank Harris is just as corny and just as sappy and loves that. <laughs> You know, like I do. We were just a match made in heaven for each other. You know, Jeff, I know we, and with UTSA, it, it happens a lot. Still a young program, but you talk about the big games in the history of this program. This has got to be right up there uh, among all everything else that has happened at UTSA. National television, Black Friday, uh, top 25 school. Th this has got to be up there in the history of UTSA. And again, that's why I love you. Joe and Jason, because I need you guys to do all that for me, because we just don't do it here. Like, we just won't allow it. Our kids don't talk about it. We don't acknowledge it. Uh, I just think you get way out of yourself when you start acting that way. We've got to stay true to who we are, 
and just focus on the things we could control. And I know that's so boring. Y'all are rolling your eyes at me right now. <laughs> but I, my guys have got to stay in that lane or we will go out there and not look like y'all used to seeing us look. Now, Coach, you, you, you look at a, a Friday game. So you, what I like about this week for you guys is you go Friday to Friday. So your practice week schedule is – is normal afternoon game on ABC. And I imagine, you know, some of the guys will be excited about that. Although I, you guys have been on TV enough now to where hopefully they don't get too caught up in that, but an outdoor stadium in new Orleans forecast calls for about a 50% chance of rain. The weather's not going to be perfect. Like it is inside the Alamo dome. How much do you think weather could play a factor on what we see on Friday afternoon? That's, those are always factors, no doubt, but Hey, lucky for us, we don't have an indoor, so we worked out in the rain today. So we're, First we time I've heard you say that. that. Come on, wait Coach. A, wait a minute. <laughs> Lucky for us. <laughs> We've had more wet ball drills this year. I've never seen so much rain in San Antonio in my life. Uh, when I took this job, Kevin Brown, I was worried about not having an indoor, and that's when Kevin was my DFO. I said, Kevin, what are we going to do, man? I'm used to being able to get to an indoor if I need to practice. He's like, oh, it never rains in San Antonio. Well, he leaves me this year. He's a bunny champion, and we're getting rained on every day over here now. Uh-huh. Oh There's man. Something to that. that that's funny. Yeah. That is that is a first. I tell you. Uh, Tulane, UTSA, ABC. It, it, I, J, uh, Jason mentioned that the routine doesn't change, but that's an early game. Uh any changes there getting ready for that as, as you approach Saturday or Friday? No, it's Jason nailed it. It's literally a, it's, a, it's just you're off on your days. Like today is Tuesday. But I know I gotta talk to Joe and Jason on Monday. But it's really Tuesday for us. Sunday was Monday. <laughs> I mean, so we're all off a day. So, but it's still it's the perfect work week for us. To Jason's point, so really a Friday two thirty kick, a Saturday two thirty kick for us in our world. And and, 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 that, know, and that works good. You're going down to New Orleans. Right. Um, I, I guess travel probably on Thursday. I'm going to take yes, you sir. back to to Gilmer High School days because I know every yep. high school coach that's practicing this week knows they're doing something special. Do you kind of get that? that feeling this week that you're going to have Thanksgiving, probably at, I don't know, some convention center or hotel ballroom or whatever, but you, you guys are practicing on Thanksgiving. That's always a great thing for a high school coach. The best. And uh, we, we do it a little differently. We celebrate on Wednesday night here. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing it up really nice this year uh, for my players. And uh, we, we're, you know, I, I'm so grateful uh, and this week always just makes you more grateful, right? Like today we recognize, recognize all of our video crew. You know, Alex Nicasio heads that up with Ali and all the kids that work for him that take care of our players behind the scenes. Tomorrow we'll bring up EQ, our equipment, how each one of those players get taken care of by our, so many volunteers. We have the best. you got to remember now my equipment manager left me in the month of August and went to the University of Miami. And me and all those kids, we were basically like the Cowboys. Remember John Wayne? You ever see the movie John Wayne? We had to take all those kids across the country. That's how we started our first month of our season. That's the Cowboys, coach. But no doubt. John Wayne, <laughs> but he died in that movie, Dad Gum. We don't did. want that. I thought we moved out Christ and John Wayne died. Anyway, that's another story. So we're going to recognize EQ uh, Wednesday. We'll recognize everybody that helps us down in the training room, all the extra people down there. There's just so many people that take care of a Division One football program. So all those kids will come to dinner with us as well, and we'll recognize them and thank them. And it's a special night for us. Uh, you know, our, our top boosters will be there. Uh, just our players, coaches, we'll do it right Wednesday night. And uh, we have a lot to be thankful for. We, have, we, we coach and play in one of the greatest seasons in the country. And we know that. All right. So, uh, Coach, on, on Wednesday night, you, you're doing up the, the Thanksgiving dinner for everything. What's the one thing that you know damn well you're not putting on your plate? Yams. I mean, not yams. Yeah. What are those purple? What are those? Not, I love yams. What are those purple things? The, the like, cranberries? Cranberry sauce? Yeah. <laughs> ain't no cranberry going on my plate. No. no. Uh, Coach, you like green bean casserole? Love green bean casserole. Thank you. Love it. You're the one, huh? Yeah. You and Joe. Yeah, me and, uh, me and Jeff. See, we're small town guys. Yep. That's what happens. You're, you ever put ketchup on it? <laughs> I've never done that, Coach. <laughs> Try it. If, uh, if, if it's cooked pretty crispy, okay. put some ketchup on top. It's clutch. You got it. Wait, I'm going to try you, that this you time. You pull out ketchup for Thanksgiving dinner? 
Oh, what would you not put it on? The mashed potatoes, the turkey, you got tons of options. Come on, Joe. Oh, my Help goodness. Him Help him, Joe. Help him. Oh, Jeff, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This Thursday, ketchup on my green bean casserole. If it's cooked pretty crispy. If it's kind of loose, you know, it's not as good. But I like my look crispier and put some ketchup on top. I'm doing it. Hell, I'm I'm, I'm doing St. Louis style, Rev. <laughs> so what, what do I know? <laughs> Coach. Uh, good luck Friday down there in New Orleans. Get ready to play for another championship game. And, you know, we're rooting for you. What, whatever happens. Absolutely. Uh, as a friend, seeing what you've done here, um, we know you want to keep it private. That's your business. We appreciate you taking the questions the way you do because, you know, we've got to do that. But uh, uh, good luck this week. Enjoy, uh, enjoy that Thanksgiving, that until you get to the uh, catch up on the green beans, man. Look at my history. I'm I'm a guy that likes to stay put in one place, but he likes to see a place grow and be maximized all it can be. And we're not all we can be yet. But what will the story be like when we get there one day? It'll be a hell of a story if we'll all get on board. Appreciate y'all. God bless. Birds up. God bless. Birds up. Jeff Trailer on the Buyers Barricades guest line where they provide traffic control, rental, and sales for San Antonio and beyond online at buyersbarricades.com. How do you not love that guy? I, I, Ketchup I, on green bean casserole, yeah. baby. I'm doing it. I, I mean, it's happening. Yeah. It's um, happening. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and again, <laughs> the man knows how to sidestep a question. You know what? That but, was elite. And I appreciate the answer because I know where he's coming from. Well, I appreciate it because that's the best explanation I've heard. And he and he, what he said was fantastic. He's got other people to do that. He's got a job to do. So other people handle that stuff. And I appreciated his answer and his explanation. But how we just ended the conversation. Yeah. The job's not done. Uh-huh. And and I don't know what that means. Hey, I mean, I, I've heard other coaches say I'm not interested or um, you know what, and he and he's yet to do that. But that answer there, if you're a UTSA fan. You could hang on hope that, you know, well, well, maybe it's not if he offered, if it's offered, he would immediately take it. Yep. I, I mean, you can take that for what it is. You can take it for what it is. We'll see what happens. The, then now we look forward to Friday and a huge football game for the UTSA Roadrunners. There's no question about it. Wow. I appreciate him.